The most exciting thing, though, is that it's a record store, you know, and I've been collecting records my whole life, so every day I'm, I'm buying collections and I'm cleaning records and I'm putting records out uh, for sale, and I'm also finding a few for my own collection, <laughs> which is never going to end. Uh, I, I found one today that I'm going to take home and put into my collection and love. It's an original... Uh, Two eye pressing of a Bob Dylan record, you know, from 1964. It's beautiful, you know. So um, that'll go into my little little collection. Uh, we're a used record store first, so we always have a good selection of used records. We have VPI cleaning machines, wet vacuum machines that we clean the records on, but we also carry a whole wall of uh, of new records. So that's become a big part. Uh, maybe the most fun is the used gear that we fix up and sell. Um, uh, that's always been a big, big hobby of mine, vintage audio, and it's strongly reflected just along this wall. Beautiful old turntables and amps and all that. People will come and on Saturdays people will spend hours here. You know, they'll sit and uh, on Saturdays we often have a live piano player. I, I like to play a record, go back to the sweet spot in the living room, sit there with the liner notes. I've been doing that for more than 40 years. <laughs> And I still enjoy doing that. Uh, we've made a couple of records uh, of our own, and we put a lot of effort into having liner notes, you know, and just sort of uh, remembering what uh, that ritual is, you know. The biggest charm is maybe the, the physical presence, you know, uh, and the ritual involved. Uh, it's a little bit of work, but it's a huge payoff, you know. Um, so you're holding the record and putting it on the turntable, dropping the needle, cleaning it, you know. Uh, listening to it, side A and then side B, no shuffle, you know, on a record. The, probably the most valuable record in my collection right now is an original Beatles, the black and gold label of Please Please Me, original pressing, only 600 made, that's probably a $10,000 record.